it's a it's another potential screening tool perhaps to find those students that may be at risk right maybe a freshman you know the freshmen some freshmen have higher levels and it's like oh we should you know maybe target these people or at least extend resources to these people make sure they know that you know like if they are at high risk for drug use and alcohol use or illegal behaviors like it's just a way to maybe put some people um on the radar to get them knowledge of, of tools and resources that the school and other places might have to offer that might not. Um, it's also, I think, just finding some more evidence that such the, that these relationships likely do exist. Um, the school schools and parents and friends and college students themselves should really, uh, I think they have an obligation to, to learn more about FOMO, um, to look up the research, right? Like hearing secondary from news articles and stuff is, is great because that's how most people consume it but it's always best i encourage people to go back to primary sources and can you know hear it from the horse's mouth um so to speak and so i think they have an obligation to do to to research that and be proactive and have conversations with the students at their campus parents should have these conversations with their students that are about to go to college and you know these are maybe some potential consequences of fomo so if you start feeling like you're having this maybe we should talk you should reach out to someone and kind of see how there's a way to mitigate this and kind of nip things in the bud before maybe you make a decision or engage in stuff that has long-term effects of your life. 